Well, that was interesting. We're like still seven miles off the coast, and all of a sudden there's a Yolas behind us. This cattle come on from about uh, seven miles out. Wild child, as you can see, made it safely to Anchorage, sunshine and blue skies. the end of October and into November of 2019. Wild Child has finally done it. We have finally conquered the thorny path to failures, but finally we succeed. We are going into our third day sailing. I'm hoping to have the hook down before sunset. Well, it is the third day now. Um, Elena's entire passage is of, of Elena sleeping. The ocean is very calm and Mother's in a good mood. Captain Lexi chose her weather window wisely. I did make the risky decision of running full sails all night long, but it has paid off. We're getting pretty close to our destination. It looks like we're going to arrive before the nasty stuff comes tomorrow. We need to find safe harbor. This is Cabo Cabron from about uh, seven miles out. And then there's Cabo Samana, which we're about 10 miles away from the point. Once we get around that, we'll have protection from the incoming waves. So 10 miles and we start to turn the corner to safety. Cabo Samana. Well, that was interesting. We're like still seven miles off the coast and all of a sudden there's a Yolas behind us with some fishermen on it. You gotta say they are brave. Like they go out into the ocean in these tiny little crappy boats. No life jackets, no safety equipment. What I am worried about, which is causing me enormous stress right now, is that in Luperon, they forced us to check out of the country, even though we didn't want to. We know that we have to go to Samana in the Dominican Republic, because we have to hide from the coming nasty before we make the jump to Puerto Rico. It is illegal to anchor anywheres along the Dominican coast. It is illegal to have your boat anywheres not under Navy control. It is illegal for us to go anchor around the corner for protection and safe harbor. There's a reasonable chance that the Navy will either come to get bribes out of us, force us to spend $300 checking back into the country, or the police might come for bribes. What we're sort of betting on is that the Navy and the police cannot afford a boat of their own. The coming nasty waves will be coming from the right of the screen, which is north. We are now getting into the lee protection of the island. We are getting into safe harbor. I don't know if you've noticed in the YouTube videos, but you never see Elena and I having a conversation. That's because Elena does not allow conversations. She just lies there all day in her cone of silence, leaving me alone with my thoughts. I do get very bored and very lonely sailing. Thank heavens I've got podcasts for company. Wild Child has the engine running. We ran out of wind as we came along the cliffs. We still have about 10 miles left to go. And these four to six meter waves are due to start rolling into this area in about four hours. So normally I would be happy to sail as long as we were moving at least two knots. You know, we were four or five over two-ish. But because there's gigantic seas coming from that North Atlantic uh, storms, we got to get out before they get here. And you can see the point is right there that we have to get around for protection. So as much as I hate motoring and I hate motor sailing, sometimes to beat a storm, you kind of have to do it. main sheet, one loop around the winch. Yep. 
the wind is slowly coming around the stern and I need to jibe. So I get Elena up and I get her help to jibe the boat. It's not easy to film everything right, with one so hand and do all the one sailing with the other. Bring the boom to center. And remember when it crosses, you just let it go. This is something that she should know how to do. She's done it dozens of times. But since returning from Germany, it's like she's forgotten everything. Crossing, I went 10 degrees to starboard. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, wait, it's stuck on the running back thing. No, 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 no. noise coming from the radio down below that interference da -da 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 kind of pattern that is VHF channel 16 all around the Dominican Republic it's either like they've got it jammed or they allow unrestricted use of poor quality splatter radios which ruins VHF Marine 16 for everybody being a fat farm girl. I don't mind being an ugly farm girl, but I love being a strong farm girl. We've dropped the sails and we tidy up the boat as we make the last few miles. We're actually in surprisingly good condition because the weather window was good and the ocean was calm, so the sailing was easier. The sail was less physically brutal than rough weather sailing. I find a little hill to tuck behind and we drop the anchor in 40 feet of water. We're still a few kilometers outside of Samana, so hopefully the officials do not notice that we are here. It's, uh, I don't know, Thursday afternoon. We left Looper on Tuesday afternoon. Wild Child, as you can see, made it safely to Anchorage, sunshine and blue skies. We're protected by this cliff behind me from the incoming waves. Seems like we'll be okay here. We're anchored in 40 feet of water, but I think the hook's set. We gotta wait at least three days 
because there's a four meter swell coming in from the North Atlantic, we have to wait out before we try to make the crossing to Puerto Rico. Wild Child is anchored down and two tired girls are gonna relax, have something to eat, watch TV and sleep. We're exhausted, but we made it because Wild Child is awesome and Wild Child's girl crew is extra awesome.